Hey, so I am studying private investigator. So yesterday I found a liquid substance on the floor. So I decided that I would um, do some hands-on activity in the building, right? So on the second floor in the fire escape where the fire people walk up and down the steps and stuff, I took the comic and I sprinkled the comic on the, cre the, the scenes of the crime. Okay, so the next thing that I learned is that um, when you do video, can't nobody say nothing. And because you can embarrass yourself um, when you are speaking. Okay, so then there is a video on one of my YouTube channels where I am practicing um, my schooling. So my first three lessons came. How do I think I did on my first test? I don't know if I did that good because there were questions that is like all of these above. And they didn't have all of these above. So it's like questionable with a couple of questions. Um, on my second exam, I think I did really good. And on my third exam, I think that I did really good. But when you have to have hands-on experience. Now, because this is an elderly building, right? There could be people that can't hold their urine. You feel me? And they might have peed in the floor. Okay, but I don't know what the liquid substance was. Okay. So, because of that, you know, and I have Angel here, but then we're back and forth. We're not just here. You know what I'm saying? So, I know it wasn't my puppy. Okay, so if somebody was to go and blame my puppy, you can't blame my puppy because we came down the steps and what did we see? You know what I'm saying? So, then... I was like, well, this would be perfect, you know what I'm saying? I can sprinkle the comic on the scenes of the crime. Regardless that there are elderly people here and someone could have just peed on yourself and was too embarrassed to go clean it up, you know. So, you know, we have to forgive the people that can't hold their urine. But then if it wasn't an elderly person who did it, and I know my puppy didn't do it, who did it? You know what I'm saying? Because that's trifling. You know what I'm saying? These people work hard in here and they clean this building. You know. Um, and it's not right for you not to say, you know, like I peed in the floor. Can you have someone come clean it up or something? You know what I'm saying? And it is embarrassing, you know, if you pee on yourself. There has been times when I have a, a weak bladder and... I don't care where I'm at. I can ask you, can I use your bathroom? And if you say no, and I still have to go to the bathroom, I have to find a cut or a built abandoned house where I'm going to have to go pull down my clothes to go to the bathroom. You know, so like, it has to be like understanding with the situation, you know, like she really had to go to the bathroom. And, you know, when, you, when people don't know who you are and you really have to go to the bathroom, they're not going to let you go to their bathroom. So, meaning you got to use Mother Nature. You know what I'm saying? So, um, there have been several times in which I've been outside or walking somewhere and there wasn't a restaurant where I could go to the bathroom or, you know, a place where I can go to the bathroom at. And so, because of that... Just because of that, you know, you have to go to the bathroom, you gotta go to the bathroom. But here, I feel like you sh you can call uh, the emergency line or something, and you can say, like, I couldn't make it to the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? And can you please have someone to clean it up? But because I'm going to school for private investigator, it was like, ooh, this is my opportunity to have my hands-on moment, you know what I'm saying? So... I did that.